cog fog, or difficulty with thinking and memory, is very common in the setting of multiple sclerosis. In this video, I'll share with you the multitude of contributing factors that can make cog fog possible or make it worse. Don't turn away, because that starts right now. Hey! Howdy! Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I started this YouTube channel to help my own MS clinic patients learn between visits, and it's my hope that through these videos, I can help you learn too. Cog fog, cognitive fatigue, or difficulties with thinking and memory are very common in the setting of multiple sclerosis. There are many contributing factors which can cause or contribute to cog fog, and understanding them is the first step in making them better. In this video today, I'm going to go through over 25 common contributors to cog fog. So let's jump in. Inflammation. Someone who has more contrast enhancing lesions and someone who has more attacks is more likely to experience cognitive impairment later on. Similarly, progression of neurological disabilities, so progressing in your MS disease, is also associated with cognitive impairment. On the MRI, seeing features of accelerated brain shrinkage is a strong correlate to cognitive impairment. Many other symptoms that people with MS can experience can contribute to cog fog or difficulty with thinking and memory. The biggest one being depression. People with MS are twice as likely to experience depression compared to the general population. And depression can lead to something called pseudo-dementia. Pseudo being Greek for similar to, but it ain't. Dementia meaning can't think clearly. And so someone who has undertreated depression will have worsening of thinking and memory. Keep in mind, if you treat the depression, the memory gets better. Anxiety can also contribute to difficulty with executive function and decision making and ultimately contribute to cognitive impairment. Many, many other symptoms can also contribute to cognitive impairment. For example, fatigue is very common in MS, and fatigue can also include cognitive fatigue, and people will experience difficulties with processing thoughts or speaking clearly or finding their words as they get tired throughout the day. Heat sensitivity is another MS symptom, not uncommon, and in the setting of high ambient temperatures, kind of like outside here in Ohio today, people with MS can have difficulty with thinking and memory. There's plenty of aspects of sleep which are tied into cognition, and it's all too common that people with MS can develop difficulties with sleeping. For example, if you have a poor sleep hygiene, if you're going to bed super late, not getting enough hours of sleep, drinking um, fluids right before bedtime, watching TV in bed, there's a host of behaviors which can lead to poor sleep quality and quantity, which can lead to difficulty with thinking and memory. Beyond that, there are certain issues that can impact sleep, like spasms and cramps that wake you up from sleep at night, or similarly nocturia, the need to get up multiple times a night to go to the bathroom. There's conditions like obstructive sleep apnea and restless leg syndrome, which are both more common in the setting of multiple sclerosis. Beyond that, people with MS are at increased risk of social isolation. Social isolation can lead to difficulties with thinking and memory and can worsen depression. Stressors, psychosocial stressors, can contribute to cognitive impairment. And even things like fevers can lead to heat sensitivity. Medicines given for appropriate reasons can contribute to cog fog. So not uncommonly, there are side effects of medicines for bladder, for spasticity, for neuropathic pain. Narcotics and benzodiazepines are notorious for causing difficulties with thinking and memory. The average person with MS takes seven prescription drugs, and that's too many. Polypharmacy, being on too many drugs in and of itself, can cause difficulties with thinking and memory. Also, we have to keep in mind drugs and alcohol. And the use of recreational alcohol or recreational drugs can contribute to difficulties with thinking and memory. Undertreated cardiovascular risk factors, things like undertreated diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, uh, morbid obesity, uh, physical inactivity, these can lead to difficulties with accelerating disability progression in MS, and likewise contribute to difficulty with thinking and memory as we age. Also, other things like thyroid dysfunction, particularly low thyroid, can contribute to cog fog. Vitamin deficiencies, like deficiencies of B12 or of vitamin D, can contribute to cog fog. Low testosterone in men with MS has been associated with cognitive impairment. Other things like migraines or seizures, which are more common amongst people with MS, can 
contribute to cog fog in different ways. The migraine aura can lead people having difficulty processing, or post-seizure, someone can be confused for many, many days. My point here is, cognitive impairment, which is very common in MS, is a complex symptom. I just listed over 25 contributors, and there are more. And when you identify that someone has difficulty with thinking and memory in the setting of MS, it's important to tease apart and unravel the specific contributors because many of them are treatable. My name's Aaron Boster, and thank you for learning about MS with me. If you'd like to learn more about cognition, click the video that's on your screen right now. And until my next video or my next live stream, or the next time I see you in clinic, be safe and take care.